for today's video it is the first video of January 2018. So, Happy New Year to you all. So, in December last year, I did Vlogmas. If you don't know what that is, it's uploading a video every single day for the month of December until basically the end of the 25th, which is Christmas Day. And I thought I would do a video telling you all what I learned after uploading every single day for 25 days. I did do a written piece on this already, so if you are someone who prefers to read an article or something, I will have the link down below in the description box and in the pinned comment. So what I learned during this time after that time was first and foremost, it was one of the most stressful experiences in my seven years of doing YouTube videos. You know, I thought that Vita vlog every day in April was stressful and, and I only completed about a week's worth of stuff, but I finished Vlogmas and it was just, yeah. The thing was, I was prepared. I was more prepared than I was in April. I planned out a lot of videos. I actually did not film all of the videos that I had planned for that month, but you know, I still had, I still had some ideas, so in case my mind was blank, I had that as backup. So you know, it's one thing to film a video, edit it, and then upload it, and you know, get the cards up and annotations, whatever, on time, especially if you're wanting to do it at a specific time, like some people will just upload every day at different times. And then you have someone like me who wanted to get a video up at noon every single day. And what was difficult was I was trying to film a video, edit it, upload it, get it captioned, and do everything else. I can't caption my own videos anymore unless I do them in ASL. So a lot of the time when I was running behind, I would have to try to do a video in ASL so that I could caption it myself and it was, yeah. So I media captions the majority of my videos and they're based in Sydney, Australia. So when I send them a video, it could be Friday morning or Thursday night. And the thing is, it'll already be the weekend in Sydney. So then I'm screwed and I'm either going to A, have to caption it myself or B, pay for it through it. So just trying to get all of that on time was really stressful and I would often be emailing them and going, hey, can I get this by tomorrow at 12 p.m. my time. Preferably an hour before that so I could actually, you know, watch it and get it ready to go. Of course, I did pre-film a lot of videos. When the first week was happening, I pre-filmed that whole week and then there were a couple of others that I pre-filmed. But still, I learned that I just didn't pre-film enough. I wanted to, originally I wanted to pre-film about two weeks ahead of time uh, yeah. If I do this again next year, that's what I'm gonna have to work on. So yeah, I have learned that I really don't essentially, I, I don't really like uploading every single day. So Ricky, why did you do it? One, I wanted to redeem myself after the April failure. Two, December is the best month financially on YouTube. That's when the AdSense, the CPM or whatever is the highest. So looking at my analytics, my revenue was so much greater than every other month this month, I'm pretty sure. The downside compared to last year is I made significantly less this year than last year. And I uploaded every single day this year, but last year I only uploaded twice a week. My normal schedule, I'm pretty sure, and I made over a hundred more. Yeah, I made over a hundred more. I made almost two times as much last year doing less. So thank you, Adpocalypse. But I've learned that I would not be able to do daily vlogging. One, I don't do anything besides, you know, sit in front of the computer and do work or watch, you know, Netflix, play games, stuff like that. So unless I had a more exciting life, it just wouldn't happen anyway. Granted, most of my vlogmas was topics that I was just gonna talk about. It wasn't my daily life vlogging, but still. I could never pull a Lily Singh. I would never be able to pull a Casey Neistat. Neistat, Neistat, Neistat. I feel like the only way I would be able to do daily vlogging is if I had an editor to just cut down on the workload a little bit, I think, or a captioner on hand that isn't 
12 or more hours ahead into the future. 15 hours, something like that. So when Vlogmas was over, I took a break. I was so happy when day 25 went up and I was done. It was scheduled, it was gonna go live when it was set up to go live at noon. And I was like, I'm done. I am done for the rest of the month. There will be no Thursday video and I will sit and I will write and I will plan out my 2018 YouTube year to try to make things a hell of a lot better but I am just, I was done, I wanted a break, and I needed that break. My body was in shambles, it was terrible, it was an excruciating pain, my back hurt so much, I had a headache that lasted about two or three days. My body felt drained of energy, I felt like I was one of the citizens and Sailor Moon, a citizen of Tokyo, and the enemy of the day was like draining all the body, uh, draining all the energy from my body to give to their, you know, to Queen Barrel and what have you. To anyone who is a daily vlogger, Lily, Casey, I have so much respect for you all because it's a lot of work, it's a lot. Even people like Philip DeFranco when, it's not, it's not even daily vlogging, it's, but it's still, uploading a video every single day, Monday through Friday, and it's just, it's so much work. People think that this stuff isn't serious work and that it doesn't take a lot of work, but it really does, and I think that's something that people don't understand because they've never actually done it. I mean, if you're just, you know, filming on a phone and then sending it straight to upload, that's easy, but when you put in a lot of work to make sure the lighting is good, the topic is good, the content, the post-production is good, and all of that, it is so much work. Sometimes two videos a week is stressful. <laughs> That's what I have to say about Vlogmas. Will I attempt it again this year, 2018? Likely, because a lady has bills to pay, and sometimes you have to make some sacrifices in order to, um, live. Yeah. So, there's that. But before you go, I want to say that the new No More Craptions t-shirt launch has happened. It's a it's not a completely different design, but the colors are completely different. If you hate white t-shirts because you spill things on them and then the stains never really go away because there's no pigment to, you know, kind of disguise the mess. This shirt is all black and the graphic is white. I'm really excited for this. I'm more excited for this one actually because I do love wearing black shirts like that's my thing. I'm excited to get one for myself and I hope that you all will be too. I'll have the link for the shirts again, info box, pinned comment so you can go and get one. Every campaign that I launched lasts for 21 days so you have 21 days this round to get a shirt. If you don't get one, don't fret. I will probably relaunch again once a month, it's likely. Just a once a month kind of campaign thing. If you want to follow me on my social media, I have my usernames right down below. If you want to send a letter or anything, I have my PO box address right up here. Patreon and last video over there. I upload every Monday and Thursday, and I will see you later. Bye.